What's good, YouTube? It's Andrew Doesn't Miss. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, all that stuff. Follow all my social medias down in the description below. And today, I got the COVID shot. The P5 is the only one You're not that gonna introduce is me? FDA approved. And now... Okay, wait. Since, you know, you didn't want to introduce me. Or... You didn't even give me a chance to introduce you. Boy, you're supposed, like, supposed to be like, you're supposed to be like, Hey, what's up? It's Andrew Doesn't Miss. Back with another my video. Chino, lay down. Lay the flying fedita down. And no. I have. Because these are the side effects of the COVID shot. What is he remembering? Might be. Blueberry. <laughs> <laughs> so I got the P Pfizer shot, and I'm here with. I did my hair from the last time we were seeing you, by the way. And Chino, say something. He might be in the middle of the camera. I think, by I the think way. he's right there, but I don't know. I don't know if y'all see him or not. But there's a big guy right here. So Later. I'm just here to show y'all that I got the shot. It's now mandatory for the Air Force. I don't know if it's military wide, but just so y'all know. Yeah, but I'm not gone. I can smell it. Yeah. As soon as I got the shot. I started bleeding, like dripping blood. It was all down my arm. Um, it's been about 12 hours right now since I got it. And um, I'm feeling fatigued. I'm feeling, feeling pretty much, pretty much sick. I was bleeding through my nose earlier today. A nosebleed? Yeah, I had a little nosebleed. Um, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing that they're making this mandatory for the military. Um, but I got it. There's no going back now. I can like, uh, it's not like snake poison that you can suck it out of you, you know? Does anyone try? You want to try? No, I can smell it. <laughs> so what are some of the thoughts you got on the whole situation of the military making it mandatory for, uh, us or the Air Force making it mandatory? It's the military. It's not just your branch, probably. Yeah, it's probably, probably all yeah. the branches. But, um, I don't really know. I, I'm not gonna cap with you guys. I am actually kind of scared to get the shot. Um, that's why I haven't done it yet. Um, I think that it's just too soon for the USA to just randomly come up with a shot. I know the one that he got is like FDA approved, but there's other ones that isn't FDA approved. And even the one that is FDA approved, like he has symptoms and he has side effects. And like, when you get a shot, you're not supposed to be gushing freaking blood. The only way yeah, you would be, actually... the only way you're gonna be gushing blood if someone was to give you a shot is if they put like an IV in you and they did it wrong. That's the only reason why you should be gushing blood when someone puts a needle inside of you. My arm is sore. You probably can't um, even lift it past yeah. a certain freaking angle. That was that was the first time I actually got a shot and I started like gushing out blood. Like it was all it That's was all draining down my whole like, arm. You don't get so, a shot. No no uh -huh. type of shot is gonna make you gush blood. Like they'll give you a little bubble of blood, but not like gush blood all the way down your arm. Like I don't know. And that's the FDA approved one. And then also like he got a nosebleed. Like, I don't know why. Because, like, yeah. I just find that weird because that's considered, like, blood clots, right? Yeah. Which doesn't make much sense. Be quiet. Which doesn't make much sense because the one that isn't approved anymore is the Johnson & Johnson one. And that's the one that gave you blood clots. So, like, how is the FDA want the FDA approved one giving you nosebleeds and causing you to, like, bleed like that? Like, it just doesn't make any sense. And also, like... I know that you get like sick when you get the shots and stuff and like you'll be sick for like three days and probably even like a week and like so basically like what are they doing sticking fucking covid inside of you like what are they doing to make you sick like i know when you get like the flu shot or something like you get like you get sick because if you even I don't get sick when i get a flu shot well if you some people do and some people don't but like can yeah, it's just like with down. this one. Lay down. Lay down. It's just like with this one, though. Some people get sick, some people don't, because like, some people didn't get sick. If I'm, you, I'm sick. I'm but definitely like, sick. 
I'm not feeling good at all. Like, if you actually do your research on a flu shot, like, you do know that they're actually sticking the flu inside of you, right? That's what the flu shot is. It's the flu, but with, like, like medicine and stuff to, like, help your blood, your white blood cells fight off the flu, but they're literally sticking the flu inside of you when they give you the flu shot. That's why some people get sick for it. So it's, like, it's confusing. Like, I don't know. And, like, I just... I honestly, I don't think they should have made it mandatory yet. I don't think they should have made it mandatory for the military yet. I can't even remember how long it's been since COVID. I don't know, but it looks like everyone's gonna end up getting the shot anyways. They're gonna make it mandatory for the whole state eventually. So, I already know it. So Not even die, for the whole state, like for the dying together for the whole country and shit. I don't understand it. I and just don't crazy, understand it. And the crazy thing is, they said after we got the shot, they said wait 15 minutes before you leave. So, for what? For what? What are they waiting for? You know what it only takes. Day, you know what only takes um, five minutes for your brain to completely lose oxygen and you're dead. Yeah. At the end of the day, this is the first day. It's only been 12 hours since I had the shot, and I'm feeling really not good. Uh, if I feel like this this morning, I'm gonna have to go to the doctor or something because yeah, I, I don't feel good at all. So, with that being said. We'll see what happens at the end of the day. Be safe. Um, whether you're forced to get the shot or Quiet. you volunteer to get the shot. I mean, hey, okay. sounds like we're all going to get it at the end of the day. Also, I just don't see the point of the shot because you know that you can still get, you can still get COVID with the shot. You just don't have the symptoms. So like basically you're a carrier and you're giving it to other people. Did you guys know that? Well, I do. If y'all want any updates on the shot, because I have my second shot on October 5th, um, just comment below if you got any questions or anything. Um, so I just turn my lamp off. That's it. And so are you going to get the shot? If I'm going to get the shot, honestly, I'm not sure. I'm honestly not sure. The only way like I'm going to get the shot is if my job, Bellagio, makes it like like mandatory soon besides that like i don't know but like every like my parents are telling me to get it because they just got their shots and stuff but they said that they feel normal like they don't have any symptoms or anything um but like honestly at the moment i'm not sure like i said in the beginning of the video i am kind of scared of it because it just doesn't make any sense to me it just like what you're gonna have to get it like every year or some shit like a flu shot like You know, there's a lot of questions that aren't answered yet about the shot and it, like about the vaccine and stuff. But like, like you said, he'll give you an update on when he gets a second one and stuff. And Sorry, it's not as exciting as y'all thought. Um, but yeah, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, all that stuff. Follow all my social media down in the description below. Hopefully I get back on track with all making all these videos. Uh, comment some questions or something and I'll make a video of it or, you know. I read all of it. I read all of your comments. That's why I like them. I read them too, by the way, guys. All right, well. And we out here. See you. Bye.